I'm gonna be a nuisance when it comes to texting, like... Today, we're going to... We have kind of a full docket a little bit. Not really, kind of. Eh. No, we kind of do. We're going to Milk Studios first up. They're celebrating Halloween, and it's... I, I don't... The invite didn't say much, so I don't know if it's a Halloween party or what it is specifically, but it just said celebrate with us for Halloween, so I guess we're celebrating with them for Halloween. Had no Halloween plans just because, um... The vibe's been off. There's no Halloween vibe this year. It just doesn't feel like Halloween to me. October used to be my favorite time of the year, creatively, next to like Valentine's Day and Christmas, but something has just been off. Ever since somebody said this is the most September feeling October, I have not been able to get that out of my head because it really is. It feels like September still. And I don't think that's gonna change. I'm so sad though, because I'm finally not moving during October so I can do Vivian content, which is this. And here I am still not doing it. Just kind of disappointed, but I don't know. Creatively, I feel like I'm starting to grow past at least how I filmed Vivian before under the bed. I get excited about the idea and then I just remember like I'm not in the same environment. I don't have the same bed, I don't have the same tools. That was something that didn't really require, <sighs> excuse me, something that didn't really require a whole bunch and does now because circumstances have just changed like i don't know i don't even think i can do that stuff with my belly piercing right now i can't roll around on the floor like i used to and go crazy but i think i want to repurpose how i do vivian sort of like i do with my podcast my get out of my house podcast which is this today we have jessica rabbit girl but i'm clearly betty boop why would you say jessica rabbit so maybe something like that so it doesn't have to end because i do like that character and it was always very fun to do um the vibe's just been off but i also am getting older so i think i might just be growing up guys what can i say oh after we go to milk we're heading straight to a movie premiere a show premiere actually it's for arcane I started watching Arcane a while ago, but I never finished it. So interesting of me to go to the premiere and I am probably gonna get spoiler after spoiler after spoiler, but it's okay. I wanna go anyway. And it's like a collab with Fenty Beauty. So it's like Arcane X Fenty Beauty. So freaking cool. And they also sent some products, like Fenty sent some like, like there are products for the launch. I'll show it to you. And I'm gonna try them out for the, for the look. And I'm excited. I didn't really take like a, like a deep, intense look at anything before because I wanted to show you guys first. Also, look what I got from Daiso. First, we have this. First, we have this. It's literally a baby scissors. And it's a bear. Like, shut up. Shut up. And literal baby scissors. Are you kidding me? That is the time. I'm gonna cut the shit out of my lace with these now. Are you crazy? I had beef with Daiso because everyone is always like, Daiso has the best stuff, Daiso has the best stuff. Daiso has the best knickknacks. Oh my gosh, go to Daiso if you like little like knickknacks or stuff like that. And I would always go to Daiso and not find nothing. Ow. So I had fully given up on Daiso. And then Joni was like, no, you're gonna go with me. And I'm like, okay girl, I'm like, Okay. Then I went with her, bought like 20 things. <laughs> Maybe she has some sort of Daiso detection that I don't know about and she just knows how to find. Sorry, I slapped you. That was an accident. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Um, maybe she has some sort of Daiso detection and she can just, she can just bring out the best in a Daiso because I promised you, and it's the same Daiso I went to before. Couldn't find a thing. I found these cute little like note cards and everything. And we were kind of just stopping in quick too. Sinister, just sinister. I'm trying to avoid getting makeup in my lace. I used to put it in my lace thinking that was helping everything look blended until I realized I was just making my lace look crazy, right? Makeup is a, is a, it's definitely a process. You learn, you do, you learn, you do. You learn, you do, you learn, you do. They didn't send a blush. A lot of the Arcane collection is lip products and highlight. They did send this and blue mascara. And they did send this though. And it's, oh, it's a lip balm. Cute. It's orange. It's so pretty. Oh, me trying stuff too early. I got a film debt. You're sneaky. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, oh, blush. Okay. I feel like I have this really bright dress. 
just because I don't know what to wear. So I think, I don't know, maybe going deeper for the face to even, oh my gosh, my smile lines are cracking crazy today. I really hope it doesn't crack before I get to the red carpet. And if it does, life goes on, okay? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Everybody slowly blinks. Oh my gosh, that blush is so pretty. I don't know why they wanted to play in everybody's face with that lavender one. Like clearly, clearly you possess the skill. Maybe whoever possessed the skill was asleep when they were developing that lavender blush because that was incredibly confusing. Okay, a lot of that will probably dissipate as we set anyway. I feel like that's good. I'm gonna just let the concealer sit for a little bit and then maybe let's do some like significant contour today. I haven't really contoured contoured in a while. Forgot my cheekbones kind of look like this on their own. And when I was adding extra, I was kind of just adding extra. I was kind of just adding, adding extra more than like creating a new feature on my face. Okay, I feel like I like that. I feel like that's a nice base today. Let's, that's, let's let that sit. And then maybe take the hair out now. No, don't tell me what to take out. In mind, but what's what's just it? Cute. Or. Oh, it's oh my god, I love them. That's pretty. Tricky. I just started. And then. I don't know what the end of your nose a little bit. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then look up. Perfect. That's done. That's cool. That's, That's cool. a bit nuts. That's cool. That's a bit beautiful. beautiful. Guys, we're putting on the Hello Kitty nails. They're so cute, I'll show you them, hold on. So far I've only put on one, and I know you're probably like, why the hell are you in my face? Because my phone is behind you, so I can't back you up. Bro, stop it right now. And they're good quality, like, I, I don't know if you can even tell, but like, they're thick. I like it. Okay, should I just give you the reveal? I'll just give you the reveal, ready? <gasps> Please, they're so cute. I love them. Hi. Okay, the problem now is I have no vibe. I'm really tired, I'm really bored, and I'm hocked up on an energy drink, yet I'm still tired, so that's weird. It's Halloween, but I don't know, like I said, the vibe is not there. What are you doing? When you see this, tell me what you're doing right now, and then tell me what you did for- And then tell me what, you're, what you did for Halloween. I decided to just stream, because I don't know what the what's going on, but my vibe is off. Sometimes, I just feel down and I couldn't explain why, and I hate it. Happy Halloween! I know you were probably expecting a costume. I fear the vibes off. Imagine me with my bald head, but my hair is blonde. Like, that's hot! What the hell were we? Tell me we weren't just friends. Y'all be cheating on me, that's what it is. <gasps> that's what it is! Ah! It's been a really weird day. And I just feel like I don't know what's going on right here right now. I don't know, in general, I'm going to red, I fear. In general, I think lately I've just been confused about how I feel about literally anything. And you know, that's not something I'm accustomed to feeling, I guess. I think usually I can pinpoint why I feel what and what I feel very easily, but I don't know what it is. Lately, I feel, I just feel like out of body. I talked about it a little bit on my spam account, but it's just so unfamiliar. And I don't know, like I feel like I don't even know how to explain it, I just don't feel. Not even like imposter syndrome, I just feel weird. I don't have anything specific to say. Definitely don't have anything profound to say. Girl, I don't know. I told you all over the place. So, a little bit different of a night. We're actually gonna go out right now, bye. Okay, now the night did take a turn, okay? I did begin earlier by saying that I was gonna stay in and not do anything because I was feeling weird. And that was the truth. So then I texted Joni and I was checking on her because we were both, we've both been having a crash out day. We've just been like going insane <laughs> um, with, to each other. Like just like calling each other, freaking out for a little bit, hanging up, you know, doing girls too. And I'm checking on her because I know she's crashing out. So she's like, she's like, yeah, just chilling. I'm like, yeah, me too. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go out or not. She goes, me, but I'm gonna come with you. And I knew that was gonna happen. You know how I knew that was gonna happen? I went to give her something, and when I went to give her something, she still had her makeup, her makeup on. When Joni's ready to stay in, that makeup comes off real quick, okay? When I saw she still had a full beat on, fully dressed, I knew we were going out to them. <laughs> I knew, she didn't know that I knew, but I knew. I know that girl. So, she literally comes over, 10 minutes, we're out. We do an Uber hourly because Los Angeles, California, during Halloween, is this, this lead condition is hella good, holy shit. 
Los Angeles, California during Halloween, scary time, especially WeHo, because it's really crowded and it's a bit much. So we did an hourly so that we wouldn't have to try to fight for our lives to call an Uber to go home, because that's exactly what's happened every other year that we've done Halloween in WeHo. So I schedule our Uber hourly. I schedule the guy for two hours. So when we get there, he just has to find somewhere to park nearby. He doesn't have to park in the area because WeHo like shuts down well, at least this year, they shut down a lot of... We hope it's West Hollywood, if you don't know what that is. Um, I, I realize everyone does not live in California, so... Um, like, two years ago, I would've been like, what's We hope? So, they, it was, like, shut down this time. Normally, it's a normal street, but this year, they actually, like, shut the street down for it, which is smart, because it's a bunch of drunk people walking around a street of bars, and then people can drive through it, and then people get really angry because everybody's drunk, and it's just not a safe space. So they actually closed it off this year. But because of that, drivers couldn't get very close. So there was a language barrier because our driver was Russian. So he didn't really understand um, us and we didn't really understand him. So we were trying to explain, like we're, we're telling him like, okay, we're gonna get out right here. And then you just kind of like hang around here. That's what you do with Uber hours. Like that's the whole point is so that you don't have to worry about calling Uber later. Your Uber driver just waits for you. I'm like, yeah, can you just, you know, hang around here? Because in California, it's funny enough more of like a bargain to do an Uber hourly than it is to pay for an Uber to go and to pay for an Uber back. The Uber hourly was like a hundred dollars. That is a, that is as crazy as a number as it sounds. However, Ubering to where we went anyway was $80. Okay. Like just to get there, $80. And then to get back, probably around 90. So the Uber hourly just makes sense because Joni and I get tired fast anyway. So we just did two hours and we're like, okay, that's literally almost half the price. And we don't have to worry about anything when we're getting out. So basically what you do is when you get out of the Uber hourly, you just get out and then you go back because they just kind of like take you around wherever you want to go. So they're not supposed to end the ride because once they end the ride, they end the ride. So the guy, I don't think he understood. Maybe it was his first time doing the hourly because I don't know if they like explain it very well to the drivers because this is the second time this has happened to me with hourly. Like the driver themselves were confused. Like it wasn't their fault. And he's trying to end the ride. I'm like, hey, wait, no, no, no. I paid for like the two hours. You gotta save me for the two hours. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm telling you, this is how it works. I need the code and I can end. And then he was, he was like basically trying to tell me to like give him the code for the Uber, but that was trying to explain to him that that ends the ride. And the language barrier was just like wrecking our conversation. So inevitably it was a man getting irritated with me. So I gave him the code cause I was scared. So he was getting mad. Cause he was like, no, just give me the code. I know what I'm talking about. Give me the code. And I'm like, okay. So I give him the code. It ends the ride, like I said. And then now he's trying to tell us to get out of the car. And I'm like, oh wait, no baby. Like we paid for the two hours. You have to, like wait for us and now he's looking at us like we're literally stupid and he's like no so then we get on the translator app that i have on my phone to use Taobao, and i ask him what language he speaks and he's like i speak russian so uh, we literally get on there and we change to russian and we're like talking to him through the app and then he understood like it seemed it seemed very genuine like he really just didn't understand what we were saying because the language barrier so we started talking to him through the translator app and we were just like, yeah, so this is Uber Alley, so basically all you have to do is like wait around and we'll come back to the car um, wherever you parked. And he's like, okay, cool. I guess they like kicked him out of where he was parked at and he's texting me and we're texting in Russian and I'm like translating everything I say. And he's like freaking out and then he started scaring me because he's, he was saying weird stuff like, what did he say? He would say something like, why are you messing with me? And I'd be like, what? Mind you, the message I sent before was like, hey, the street's blocked off. We don't really know how to get back to you. Can you send your location? And he was like, no, you're messing with me. And I'm sitting here like, oh, and I did just stick my soapy fingers in my contact case where my contacts are. No, that's right. And I just broke my contact case. Okay. No, I think it is broken. No, it is. Oh, no. Anyway, I don't get down like this anymore, okay, guys? I'm, I'm tired. Joni and I are supposed to go out tomorrow, too. <laughs> We gonna see about that one. Pookie is exasperated after tonight alone. I don't know if I have another night of this in me. I really don't. I truly become an old withered lady, even with this outfit. I was trying to go for like cute cause the outfit is cute. That was, we didn't we didn't plan to go out. So like neither of us had a costume ready. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a fairy. I, I feel like I have fairy stuff and I have like elf ears. So I'm like, I'm gonna just do that. And I just kind of tossed it together. The men were many on the street. It was very scary. I hated it. Torture, actually. So, <laughs> after a while, Trey, Joni, and we literally were just trying to pretend we were a throuple. People kind of left us alone, so it kind of worked. I don't know. But this was the fit. I don't think I really showed you guys before I left. I'm tired. Thanks for doing our hair with me. I love you guys so much.
And thanks for like making it this far in the video because I ain't talking about shit. <laughs> Bye. We're outside again, y'all. Jonifer and I are getting in our like living our life bag. We're going, we don't even know where, somewhere. So last minute costume again, vampire, gay vampire. She's gonna give me a kiss mark here and then a bite mark. Right now I'm testing out contacts because I'm trying to see which one gives the most vampiric look. I have blue, gray, and like a pink red. So I don't know. I literally don't know. Like I literally don't. But we're gonna try something. Oh shit, I'm tripping. I was literally falling. I keep on falling. I need to make this hair look like slick instead of wild and messy. Let's see if these even have prescription in them. It's probably a great start. <laughs> Let me try the blue first. It has prescription. Don't love the blue though. It does look a little vampiric though. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try a different one in the other eye. Sometimes you make me blue. Oh my gosh, it does look like a vampire. It does. This is gonna be the gray one now. I feel like the gray might be up there. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know. I think the gray looks more vampire. No, I don't. Now I'm thinking it's the blue. Okay, last we have the pink one. I feel like the pink one could be a good one. Like she could be, she could be promising. Oh no, that is red. Hmm, no. Y'all, I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm stumped. I need to call Joni. Perky, she decided the blue contacts. So blue it is. I feel like the red. I think I should do the red. She's gonna be pissed. Well, if you feel like doing the red, you should do the red. I just think this makes me look beady-eyed. Because the contacts are doing that thing where the center's like off. Yeah. Let me do the red. I'll do the red. I feel like once the ears are added and then the fang. Remember, we have a fang. Like, okay, I feel like vampire ears are further back. Like, they're more of like a, like a, like a this, right? I feel like you should get it. At this point, if you don't get that I'm a vampire, I think you're vampirist. Because I feel like I, I feel like you can look at this and be like, okay, she's a vampire. If you're being serious. Yeah, come on. Come on. Hello, pookers. Don't, not too much on the braids. I don't know why they're curving. <laughs> I had it so much fun. We went to the bar tray picked first, but there were literally two black people in there. So we left immediately. There were so many people in there to only have two. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But I feel like Trace, Trey, I think Trey was saying like the music would get better later. And I feel like, I feel like I'd, most people come to the club later or the bar later anyway, so I kind of think he would have been right, but we were like high energy. We needed to be entertained immediately. So we left and we went to WeHo, West Hollywood, and that's where like all the gay clubs are. So that can be fun. Um, we went to Rocco's, which was chill. No one had fantastic music today. That frontal queen edge control was good. She held it sign. She held it sign. But we had fun. Um, I don't really like to go out like I thought I did. However, I do have fun when I'm with Joni and when I'm with Trey. Who would have known? Having really good company <laughs> makes things fun. Who would have known? Literally everybody but me. I think I've had so many bad experiences while being drunk um, and feeling like no one was like there for me. It made me a little fearful and I don't know, I almost think it affected me in a good way because I've been like on the receiving end of being super drunk and people not wanting to do with you so much that they like borderline abandon you. But I've never been on the other side of that. I think I just, it just became a part of me to make sure that regardless, I make it home. I make it home and whoever I'm with makes it home. Like it doesn't matter what happens. I will make it home and so will my company. So I don't know, I've gotten to a place where <clears throat> I just know how to take care of myself, I guess. I'm kind of rambling and I'm kind of just awake. My Like my brain is very awake right now. I do like these brows. I want to try to do them maybe on a more normal day. Maybe I can do what I did so that I can make them ginger to match hair because I don't think I've done brows that match this hair since I put it on. So maybe that would be cool. But now we're taking this stuff off. We're taking this R.E. I should definitely take out my contacts first. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Mind you, I still have a chance. Sometimes being stubborn is the more fun option. But we're going to the adoption thing tomorrow. I'm so excited. That irritated my contacts so bad. I don't know why I did that. Ugh! I Taking out my vision at night, sometimes it's kind of fun. Sometimes I get tired of seeing, so I just choose not to. Oof, I'm so tired. Bye. Trying out a new look today, which is brown mascara, light concealer, and maybe no nose contour. Trying to try different things. 
with my face. Joni and I are going to the adoption event today, and I'm really excited. Hopefully, I don't come home with a cat because there's a high chance that I could. Hey guys, we're going to um, Rose Bowl right now, and we're gonna go see some pets. Hopefully, we don't want to adopt any because I I just know they're gonna be so cute. And we I'm I'm so afraid that we're gonna go home with a cat. And we need to not. We need to cat, not. They have cats and dogs. I, I think. know. We need to not. So maybe we will bring some. We we unfortunately might. <laughs> Very unfortunately. We'll see you guys there. Yes. Well, no. Well, yes. Not gag it. So Um, we leave empty-handed. Pray for us, please. Bye! Bye! I only see dogs, guys. I want to find the cats. I don't even know if I'm aiming this at you. Yes, I am. Perhaps. <laughs> We're gonna try not to adopt a dog. I mean a cat. A cat. <gasps> cat adoptions! Where? Over there, over there, over there. The, the hands? I see them, I see them. Show me your stinkers. Hey, I have these. No, I, I forgot. Hey, baby. You're so cute. You're so pretty. Baby. Shellen's getting attached to this cat. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're such a little baby. Oh. Me when I'm shallow and I started crying. 